Hello everybody, how is everybody today? Welcome to Red Zone with me and Joe3YX. Say hi, Joe3YX. It's actually Joey. So yeah, today we're just going to be um, showing you guys about some redstone stuff we've been working on. This just a little overview. We're going to go through each thing. Just about redstone 1.5 and how awesome it is and all the stuff we've made. Sorry about my last tutorial, guys. I turned the sound down loads and I couldn't really hear it. I didn't notice because, yeah. So basically, what this thing is, is we have the ore point here where you chuck in your ore. Come on, Joe. Ch I'll, 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 I'll stuck in a, chuck in a stack. And then it slowly gets pulled in. Put, um, some, yeah. No, I'm taking some of that gold. I want that gold. And then you can put coal in this one. And then basically, what it does... Let's go outside and have a look. So it goes down into this hopper. And gets filtered into this furnace. Of course, the coal goes through here. And in. Now this doesn't get jammed. But the, um, the gold... The gold will get jammed... The gold will get jammed until the iron is done. The second the iron is done, the gold will go in, and that will get smelted and go through. And then basically, once it's done smelting, it gets pulled out by this hopper, sent through all these droppers, which are keep getting repetitively hit with redstone currents by this um, clock. So if we turn off this clock, the droppers won't send it, and it'll just sit there. Yeah, it won't even won't even work anymore. What did you do, Joe? Did you just break something? I didn't do anything. You see, and then it sends it straight up. And then the droppers send it up into this chest right here. So then you turn this on, you get all your ores in there, and then you come back in half an hour, boom, all your ores smelted for you. And you can see it's slowly coming through. So yeah, it works quite cool. It's really useful. It's quite nice just to set that on and come back and have it all smelted and not have to go through each chest. Can okay, I so... Yeah, uh, Joe, we'll let you talk about this. I'll, I'll just stand up here. So uh, these are uh, day and night uh, sensors yep. that obviously it's like a, uh, as soon as the day is day, uh, these like activate redstone and current. So if I were to do time set zero, oh, uh, they would activate so the piston goes on and uh, this uh, little lamp goes on and then when it's night, it goes off. So, um, we have done some stuff, if you can see up here, uh, it's just an explanation of these, but if you look down here, Christian, look! What? <laughs> what am I looking at? Well, I'll be finished with this now. Have you? Say, but I want to show them, look. Oh, Piston. Okay. No, Redstone lamp. Yay! That's all. That's just me covering up how I was like, yeah. As you can see, even though it's night, what we have to do is this uh, flip flop thing, two flip flop thing. Basically, wait, 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 I want to just describe these. Basically, what it does is this redstone torch is always on because it's, well, a redstone torch and it's on. But then the day and night sensor, when the day and night sensor turns on, set it to day, it turns it off sends current to it and it turns it off. So basically what we've done is we've flipped it. So instead of turning this on in the day, like a normal redstone current would, we've flipped it so it will turn it off in the day. Or no, yeah, it'll turn it off in the day and on at night. So we can make like yeah. night stuff. And then this one, yeah, it's the same thing, just we've hooked it up to the block and up there instead of this kind of design so we can make like a, kind of like a garden lamp. I feel this looks like a garden lamp. Like you, you could hide this quite well and make a garden lamp. And the lights are on. See, so that's quite cool. Anything so, you want to say about this one, Joe? No, it's pretty. It's, I say it's uh, very simple, but we spent ages on this. Yeah, it's just it's just getting it down, though, isn't it? We probably spent more time on this than the next two things I'm about to show you. <laughs> okay, so guys, this next thing. It's something uh, we, we took quite a while to work on, and I think it looks really nice. But this is like, it's kind of like lights for like a garden slash arena kind of thing. So like, say you're in this garden, and la da 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 it's so, it's so nice here, so you're having yourself a good time. It's nice and sunny, you can see everything, and then, oh no, it's night. Oh, Joe did it for me. The lights slowly will turn on all the way around. You still have light in your nice little garden. You can do this for like an arena or something. And we did manage to time it out. 
Yeah, yeah do that quickly. Oh. Set it to day and then set it to night. So it slowly turns turns them off in like a circle, and then it turns them back on from the same circle. Boom, 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 boom. So basically, yeah, all we did with that was we had a day and night sensor inverted, so it's on in the night, off in the day. And then we put a four tick delay between each redstone thing. I was tempted to go for an eight tick delay, but I thought, nah, that'll take too long. It, it, it's not too nice, but yeah. To be fair, the four tick delay does look very nice and calming. Yeah, I like it. I think this is a very nice design. And then it's really nice for like arenas or gardens or basically stuff that you want to keep light during the day due to natural light and light in the night. But you want to you want to keep it light during the night, which won't work with natural light because you don't want mobs spawning and stuff. Okay, oh, yeah. so this next thing. Oh, wait. If you want to make this, make sure you don't have sound on. Yeah, because if you turn sound on, it sounds like this. It just keeps ticking because of the droppers. I'm trying to look for ways around that. The only thing I could think of is making the droppers go really, really high up. Or really above. And then dropping them through hoppers into the chest. And then it won't make a noise. But it's going to cost a lot more. Yeah. And I'm guessing you want to go for cost over like, you know sound because most people don't play with their sound on or you just stay away from this when it's working okay yeah joe you want to describe so, um, this one this next one uh, time, yeah. uh we sort of went for this uh sort of didn't go too planned due to the fact that this uh you'll see when i turn it to nine but like we thought hmm, this could be like a little sitting area restaurant and then yeah. at night it turns into a club. Like... So this is like, you know, you're hungover from the night before. You just come in here. You sit down. You mope around. You lay on your couches. Uh, night and nether. And then, boom. That's how that's how we party. When I party, I just I, I just fly. And tables come out of the... F I, I always party with tables on. Not No tables are too mainstream so yeah you just gotta fly around and not even sit just... well you could do this without um night well obviously the day and night sensor this would be useless because you could probably do this in previous ones but like you can press a button then tables and the lights turn on and stuff but um yeah we like it to be like automatic like it, it you don't have to flick anything it's just when it's night you can come in here and when it's day you just you kind of stay away from here kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah joe do you want to take us through the redstone well, take, okay, so um, what we've got is that uh, teeth lift block thing. Again. Inverted yeah. redstone. <laughs> it's not a teeth flip flop. It's because I didn't know the name. I'm pretty sure it's not a teeth flip flop. <laughs> Alright, so whatever. The inverted redstone we shall call it today. Um, First, it uh, runs across all the light, and we've got a four tick delay on these ones to do the sort of uh, animation that we did yeah. in the previous one. So, kind of like each light has like a four tick delay between it. So, like this side is exactly the same to the other side. So, when these two turn on, these two nearest ones, they'll turn on, and then these two will turn on, and then those two will turn on. It's kind of like the same on both sides. Kind of gives it a nice little glow. And then. <laughs> previous uh, uh, sensor, uh, we drag, drag the redstone all the way down here, and um, got a little thing here, and uh, we attach the pistons to the sensor, so then when it turns night, we can party and rock out. Yeah, rock it out. Oh, oh god, Joe. Griefer! Griefer! Ban! So yeah, I guess, that's this. We're planning on making more, like, uh, more advanced stuff when we can be bothered. Yeah, just looking into it, slowly getting it all down, maybe make some automatic... I'd like to make, like, a big furnace room. Like, you could put, like, one, like, a stack of, like, seven stacks of stuff in a chest. And it just puts it into, like, seven different furnaces and then sends it out into one chest. I think that would be awesome if we could build something like that. Or, like, you know, crazy stuff, like... You put stuff into a hopper and it triggers a bed to pop out. I don't even know. Possibilities are endless. 
They're in. Oh, we never. Um, what we should have done is eat the pressure plates. Oh yeah, we could use those in the future. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was me and Joa doing um redstone in 1.5. So expect more of these. Maybe a few tutorials and stuff. So yeah, guys, see you all next time. Goodbye. There was a tiny Asian woman screaming in the street today. And she was screaming at a person that she obviously hates. She was so loud we heard the screaming with our windows all rolled up. And we looked down on the street to see who she was screaming at.